Now we're going to look at keeping leaves and debris out of your rainwater system. This is a crucial part of the 12 steps as we begin to install and introduce filters that progressively improve the quality of water as it travels to your tank. So leaves and debris can cause havoc in your system if they're not looked after. So they can break down or they can cause blockages which you're going to have to come and maintain. So we're going to really look at trying to keep those out so that we can set our system off on the right, at the right start. The accumulation of organic matter in your pipes will negatively affect the quality of your water. As the leaves break down, they'll start to go off through a process called anaerobic fermentation. And that's where microbes in the system can start to consume all that organic leaf matter and that can affect the colour, the smell and the taste of the water. Outside of this, leaves can contribute to clogging pipes which prevent you from capturing water and can cause damage in certain areas or flooding and it just means that you've got to go and maintain them more regularly. So because of this, filtering leaves and debris out of your rainwater harvesting system is vital. Filtering should be used to prevent any leaf and debris from entering any pipes. The easiest solution is to install a rain head with a mosquito proof screen on each dam pipe. So this is going to prevent leaves from entering the system as well as provide you the benefit of preventing uh, mosquito ingress. Rain heads are your first port of call when it comes to filtering out large debris. They come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes to fit your system. There are styles with angled screens and they're designed to eject leaves and that helps to reduce the amount of maintenance required. Alternatively, there are bucket style rain heads that ensure you catch every drop of water, but they do require a little bit of maintenance to ensure that they don't fill up with debris and overflow. Rain heads are important for all systems, especially when they're connected to a wet system or charged lines to prevent any organic matter from building up in pipes and they also prevent mosquitoes from entering that pipe work. As an alternative to putting a rain head on your dam pipe, you might choose to only filter leaves at your tank. So perhaps there isn't much head height between your gutters and your tank top and this makes installing a rain head tricky. If this is the case, then putting a tank screen or some other sort of tank top filter is going to help prevent leaves from entering your tank. Keep in mind that this arrangement is better suited to dry systems where it's less likely for leaves to be sitting in the pipes because left unchecked, leaves and debris can be the root cause of a few collection issues. By simply putting this step and providing the appropriate measures in place, you can be confident that your rainwater harvesting system is going to be better prepared to give you lots of cleaner quality water.